All right, welcome back to Canva Creatives Hub. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to create borders in Canva. Make sure to subscribe to this brand new channel. I've been using Canva for years and I've been subscribed to their pro version. I use it every day in my uh, multiple online businesses, multiple YouTube channels, and I'm here to uh, just take, take the beginner uh, graphic designer that needs graphics for their business. Uh, you can be a creator, you can be brand new to YouTube, it doesn't matter. Uh, what you're using graphic design for but um, the whole point is is that canva can get the job done and create some very good graphics for you and you don't have to go and spend hours upon hours on um, a long time learning photoshop and all these other very fancy technical tools canva is for um, people that don't want to learn all that stuff and they just want to get something that looks really good and that is very user friendly and so that is why I created this uh, YouTube channel. So if you like tutorials on Canva, um, then go ahead and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So let's jump into creating borders. So there's multiple reasons why you would want to create borders. We're going to focus on creating borders for like different art graphics, could be uh, images and so forth. There's a couple different ways that you can do this, right? So we can actually come up here to the search button up here and we could just type in border. And if you type in border in Canva, then you're going to have all these options right over here. We can actually select um, see all. And then we have all these different border templates that we can go out and look um, at all these different borders. I mean, just look at all these. And when you have the pro version, most of these are going to be locked down by the pro version. I highly recommend you um, that you sign up for the pro version. It's $13 a month and it is one of the um, most used tools in my business and I actually spend a couple thousand dollars a month on uh, tools for my businesses. But um, Canva is only $13 a month and it really pays for itself. Um, I just find myself using it um, daily, multiple times a day, right? So you can easily come over here and just click on one of these, right? And then say, customize this template. You even have more versions down there. Um, you can use this and now we have this nice piece of paper that has a nice border already done for us, right? And you can also come in here and uh, click it, left click right here. And then you could go and actually select different colors. Like if you have a brand kit right over here, you can actually go through here and change the colors. Um, look at that. Um, with a matter of a couple of clicks, we've already have a really cool border using different brand colors that we have, right? And of course, you can get the text right over here and we could go and add our text in here and we can go and start uh, using this any way we want. Um, that's what I like. It just it's so easy to uh, align things in Canva and so forth. Um, but there's a lot of other things that we could do as well, right? So if you are uh, trying to custom add a border to this um, right here, let's just say like right here, we want to add a border to this, right? There's different things that we could do. We could add a shape or a border. Um, you could do some different things like um, the basic way of doing this is that it's actually hard to find borders inside of if we go to elements and then we go to, um, well, I had one saved down here uh, under borders and I had one over here, but it's um, going to have like a one, like the size does not, uh, you're not able to drag it from the left to the right. So it's really hard to use this particular border. Um, because it's really gonna have to fall in perfect alignment with you know, the shape that you're using it for. So that really doesn't work. Um, they've kind of gotten rid of a lot of different types of borders. So you kind of have to think outside the box in the way that you're going to use this. You can go over here and type in border inside of here as well. And you can start looking at graphics and stuff over here. And when you click on it, see how you're not going to be able to drag and drop. You're only going to be able to keep it one size. Now I have been able to find some of these that have the lines on the left that are like right over here. Check this out. So we could put this one right there like that. And but see what happens when we resize this to the exact shape, we lose um, the left and right sides. So even that one isn't going to work for us. But sometimes you can find one, uh, but you will have to do your research and to try to find one. So here's one as well. And it looks like this one might work for us. I'm not sure. Um, but see how we when we drag up, it, it goes away, right? So that one's still not going to work. But um, I really kind of 
get tired of looking for that right one like this. And so I will usually go and do a couple other different things. Now we can, this one looks like it might work. We'll go with a solid and we'll go with the border weight. Now check it out. We did find this one right here, um, particularly this one. And so when you find the one that works for you, which is this one right here, Let's see which one which one was that actually because it was perfect actually i'm going to go ahead and duplicate this page i'm going to remove that and i want to go and see if i can find that exact one that we just uh found that worked for what we were using it for Okay, so it was this one right here. And I recommend grabbing this, click the three little dots right here, and you can add this to folder. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this to, um, go to all and my projects, and go to borders right here, and I'm gonna save that, right? So then now when we go and duplicate this page, and I want a border around this, I want that custom border, I'll be able to go down here to my borders folder and I just added this brand new one and there we go, right? So then all you'd have to do is just go to the alignment and you can go with dashes if you wanted to. You can make this um, thicker like that. You can do corner rounding and then we can go and actually shape this exactly which way we want. So this is probably the coolest border that you have full customization over the shape that you want right here, okay? Uh, we could actually even make this even really thick if we wanted to. And then we can come over here and we can actually change the color to a something else. So that's a really good way to do borders. Let me show you another way that we can go and do borders. I'm going to take this image right over here. And let's just say we want to, um, there's a couple different ways we can do this, right? So right here, we can go to the element section and we can just say line. If you wanted to do a good old fashioned line, we could grab this like so and we could just move it over here like that. And you can use a shape as well if you wanted to. That works as well. So you can go like that and then we, what you would do is you would just do a control C, control V and you would just paste that to the bottom over here and then I would paste again and I would make this smaller and then we would just move this up to 90 degrees and then we would come back over here like so. And you can see how within, just thinking outside the box, we're able to create this border that is a pretty seamless border. And then we would just copy and paste that one, bring this one over here like so. And you have your nice border over your image. You can go to these right here and change the color to whatever color you want as well, right? Just color, uh, change all four of them. Now we can go to another image right here and let's just say we wanted to add a border to this. You can left click this image and then you would go to edit photo and then you can come right over here and go to shadows, click on shadows and then go to outline, click on outline and it automatically, and sometimes this happens, so all you'll need to do is just wait and it fixed itself. Sometimes you have to push the back button as well. All right, so now what we can do is just shrink that down a little bit so we can actually see the full effect of the border. So there's your image, and there's some really cool things that we can do with this um, outline or this border that we created. Um, that's the fastest way that I know to create on an image is just to go to edit image and go to shadows and add that outline. But look at um, what we can do now is we can change the color of the um, border we can also change the angle, the blur, and the size. So we can make this thicker. And then we can also make it have a blur to it if we wanted to, a really nice blur effect. Look at that. So now you're talking about some really cool graphics now that you have these nice blurred borders around them as well. So hopefully that just kind of explains how to do borders. There's several different ways and techniques and methods to create borders in Canva. I showed you how to create them for images, how to start off with border templates and so forth. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be coming out and teaching you everything that I know about Canva, and then you'll be able to stay ahead of the curve. Anything that new, anything that is new that comes out on Canva, 
I will be putting out content. So you'll be the first to know about it. So make sure to subscribe to Canva Creatives Hub. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.